Leo and welcome to your bonus reading. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you're doing good. I missed you guys. I wasn't supposed to record anything for YouTube today and I drove by the most beautiful sunflower field today um, and I thought about you guys. <laughs> it really brought up the nicest feelings and memories and I was like this is such a Leo energy such a Leo theme vibe so yeah happy birthday to all the Leo suns out there but this reading is for everyone who connects with the Leo energy so let's dive right in I will as always, invite you to like the video and subscribe. <laughs> and that's it. Let's just start. Okay. Leo. What do we have here? The chariot card and the page of wands. So interesting. You know, the chariot is a big energy for 2023. It's our card of the year. So you are in the process of letting go of something, releasing an energy that no longer fits you, serves you. And with the Page of Wands, there's this spark. So the spark of something new. And I feel like right now we are all invited to try different things, to just be curious and try something new, something different. And the thing is that since we are in Leo season, this fixed fire is helping us kind of keep up with what we are initiating now. I don't know, I'm getting excited for this energy. I'm in a good mood and um, I like this. Page of Wands and Chariot, fire and water working together. Um, boiling in a cauldron in a magical cauldron like there's something i don't know magical poetic about this energy it's making me smile okay leo what is the energy for leos in the present moment what do we need to know okay the Fool is the first card of this reading. So this is probably why I'm sensing this childlike fun. I feel like I want to laugh. I'm smiling. So the Fool is the soul of the tarot. There's this moment before a new beginning when our soul is saying, yes, there's something big that's about to happen. Trust, take a leap. Don't question, see what happens. I feel like this is what is showing up in your reading. So you might feel right now like you're ready. Um, you know, especially if you're a Leo sun and you're celebrating your birthday. We have this mark that we create in our mind when it's our birthday. It's like, okay, a new year, new beginning. Let's switch things up let's get excited but however you connect with the leo energy that could be your case you know and look at that <laughs> the duality of life um fool card and then the devil card showing up and devil card is is very cool it's, it's a big energy it invites us into fun and pleasure without shame but too much of that energy can be a little bit draining, a little bit um, intense. It's an intense energy. So, okay, I'm a little bit, um, I'm like in awe with what I'm seeing here with the three major cards already out. Um, this is a big time for you, of course. It's like, it's easy for me to say that, but I, I truly believe like there's something special about to happen because the page of wands is again, that spark. What's happening when we initiate something, when we let go of fear and we take a step, you know, when we embody this full energy, um, more fun, more pleasure, nine of swords, maybe more worry. So it's not, as easy as it sounds 
to take a step into the unknown, to try something new and to trust our instinct. So the Nine of Swords confirms that your brain, your nervous system is trying to keep you in the same place. It's trying to protect you. It's saying, don't take a risk. <laughs> Stay in the same place. So with the Mercury in retrograde energy right now, um, Nine of Swords is going to be coming up a lot. It's how our brain and our nervous system, again, is impacting by everything you can see here on the bed sheet there's like all the little symbols um for astrology and all the signs there's something here that says we're all in this together the energies are impacting everyone it's okay to doubt it's okay to feel anxious but actually your body and your nervous system is probably excited for what's to come. That's why the devil is here. I feel like the line is very thin between feeling anxious about something and feeling very excited. Sometimes the body could be a little bit um, confused. So again, you're sensing intuitively, for some of you physically, that there's a big change about to happen. Things are getting revealed to you. Um, with the chariot card, this card is connected to the moon. You know, there's it's ever changing. It's moody. It's mysterious. So it's like you're discovering new parts of yourself uh, in the next few weeks. Very interesting. Very mysterious energy. Again, I don't know what it is, but it feels magical. And I keep wanting, I keep wanting to laugh. I don't know why. Like if you know me, I don't laugh usually during readings, but there's something very fun and amusing. And I don't know what it means. But I'm here for it. Like <laughs> I'm enjoying the the fun energy. Look at that, Page of Wands is here again. So Page of Wands is definitely what I'm sensing right now, this fun, childlike energy. Um, Page of Wands, just the way that he's dressed, the way he's looking at the wand, there's something special about this card. It's like, I don't do things the same way other people do their thing. I have my own way. I'm special. I'm unique. I'm magical. There's this awareness of I can create something special with this piece of wood. Let me try something different. Let me play with elements. So again, this, this magical energy. And look at that. I'm saying that the magician shows up. I don't know what is up with this reading, but it's a special one. And if you know tarot a little bit, if you read the cards and know the cards, you know, you're going to know that this is special. So magician is at the heart of this reading. Magician is the co-creator, the one that co-creates with spirit, the energy that really is a channel for everything. What are you wanting to create? What are your goals? How are you noticing, inviting magic into your life? Um, magic flows through the magician. That's why there's the beautiful infinity loop symbol here. So what are you creating? At work, in your relationship? What are the seeds that you're planting? What are, again, your goals? Uh, what do you want long term? It's a time to dream. It's a time to kind of make plans and dream big. Definitely. This is what's coming up. Yeah. Three of wands. What is up, Leo? Let me know. Let me know. Let me know in the comments. Um, I wasn't sure if I would keep the comments open for this reading. Uh, just because I've been more protective of my energy <laughs> recently, but... I think I really want to know how have you been experiencing magic in your life? Are you feeling like there's a shift in energy? Like there's a new journey about to begin? Because this is a theme that keeps coming up. Three of Wands is connected to Aries. It's the first sign of the Zodiac. So 
the majority of your cards are talking about something that is about to start for you. A clear new beginning in all areas. So I don't know what it's exactly what it means. Um, it's going to be different for each and every one of you. But it's like all over the energy is changing. Okay, tell me more. I want to know what this is about. King of Wands. It's about you. It's about your growth. It's about how you've been choosing to show up in the world. And there's something about how people perceive you. And people being very attracted to your energy. In all ways. It's very, very special. Uh, King of Wands is also, you know, like a magician card. It's how we are called to serve our community, our clients, the people that need us, the people that are inspired by us. And there's this awareness here of your influence. I think that you're starting to give yourself the credit for how you've been bringing joy into people's life. And I'm being serious. I know it sounds a little bit like sugar-coated. I'm very aware of that, but I'm very familiar with the Leo energy. I have a moon in Leo and I have a lot of great friends that are Leo. And there's this, there's this magnetic thing about you. And when you start to be aware of that, of that power, of that force, and how it influences people around you, it's like... It shines through. And I think this is what's happening here. Someone is finally noticing. I'm actually very magical, very powerful. I feel like I want to say a good person, but I feel like it's too, I don't know, it's too general. Yeah. Your, the switch is really from letting your mind control what you do, letting your mood control what you do, to now your heart is leading the way. When you show up in your relationship, it's because you want the best for the person you're supporting, the person you're spending time with. There's this reciprocity with the magician here at the heart of this reading. Again, think about the infinity loop. It's what is always connecting you with the universe, with other people, there's something here. Knight of Pentacles and Ace of Pentacles. So it's going to sound very cheesy, but I'm going to honor what's coming through. Um, you realize that you are a gift. There's like this clear revelation. You are a gift. Knight of Pentacles, very aware to, you know, about who you are, your presence, your worth, your value. And with the Ace of Pentacles here, it's like, again, I have this feeling of a gift. You know you are a gift. And when we get aware of such things, when we're, um, you know, starting to really love ourselves, celebrate ourselves, give ourselves the credit that we deserve, I feel like it's just becoming easier and easier for you to receive love from other people, to have this reciprocity. It's not just you giving and giving. There's this exchange now. And things are getting more and more comfortable. Life is more and more beautiful and fun because you are making it fun, because you are choosing to notice the beauty to add beauty. So I don't know what it is. There, it's, the, it's the Venus Leo energy, everything that's happening in the sky right now. It's you. This is it. It is impacting you in the best way. And it feels like it's a total reset. Dare I say a rebirth. So let me pick cards from another tarot deck, the Hermetic Tarot. Let me see. Leo, what do we need to know? 
Where is this change leading? What do we need to know? We have the Two of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles. So definitely leading you to more abundance, but it comes from working more. Um, it comes from, again, this co-creation. So how you show up again at work, how you show up in your relationship, how you make time for hobbies. I feel like there's something in Virgo season, um, September, that adds to your work charge. I don't know why it's like, it seems like it's complicated in my mind right now, um, what I'm sensing. Someone having a very busy schedule and still they are adding more to the schedule. So it could be it could be a little bit um, intense. It, it's definitely a busy time in September for you. And the two of swords, it's like there's this big question mark in my mind. I want to pick another card. I want to make sure that I'm getting the energy um, properly. What is this two of swords? What is this two of swords? The sun. Okay. The sun card is here. So good. You're going to be, again, adding a lot to your schedule. You might not notice right away that it's paying off. There could be a little bit of frustration. That's a very specific energy that's coming through. Um, there's going to be this little disappointment. And very soon after that, you're realizing that something was meant to happen. It's bringing you to a better place. It's supposed to take a lot of time. So in September, there's going to be this slow moving energy. You're going to wait for results. You're going to wait for, again, the abundance to show up to finally get this payoff. And I think it's around work. Um, there's a little bump in the road happening. And I usually don't predict things like that on YouTube. Like, um, I do this in, in my personal practice and with one-on-one -on -one session, but there's this clear prediction that's showing up and I have to honor it because the sun card confirms that this little bump in the road is actually leading you closer to a happy place, a comfortable place. And also... It is helping you get to a space where creativity is more present. So I don't know how it's going to happen, but it feels like you are given more like the chance to be creative at work. Why? It's like there's this very serious energy coming through. Someone who works day to day doing the same thing over and over again. And suddenly they get that chance to be more creative. Someone wants your input. Someone wants you to bring more of you in your work and make it less serious. Very, very specific energy coming through. If that's you, let me know in the comments <laughs> because I don't usually get this lost with, with messages. Um, there's something about that. So don't let the little disappointment at work in the month of September, uh, don't let it get in the way. It is supposed to happen that way. It is opening the door to more creativity in the long run. But yeah, I don't know what it is. Emperor is here and the Six of Swords. Why do I get so many messages about work? Let me know in the comments. I feel like it's so specific to work, what I'm sensing, and I'm trying to honor that. If you are having any issues with your boss, with someone who is an authority figure at work. There's this clearing out of, of this energy. Have you been feeling pressured at work? Have you been feeling like you're doing too much or people are not necessarily grateful for the work you've been doing? 
There's a clearing out of worries at work. But again, it starts with a little bump in the road. Something not, it's not scary, it's not a warning, it's just like a couple bad days at work, making you doubt, making you question yourself. And then it feels like there's this clearing out. So again, I'm honoring the message, but I don't know who it's for. It seems like it's very, very specific, but someone has been incredibly worried about work, again, doubting themselves, maybe impatient for things to be celebrated, honored, um, for a payoff, which you deserve, clearly. Let me pick a moon card. Let me pick a moon card. Listen, if you watched the reading till the end, you're amazing. <laughs> That was weird. That was so weird. I got lost in the message and I feel like my, my thinking mind is saying, don't post this reading. And my soul is saying yes. So whoever needed to hear that, you got your message. A time to give rather than take. Again, look, Virgo energy. Virgo season is big. It's big. Don't be scared to show up, to try different things, to say yes. It's okay to say yes to more work. Don't drain yourself, listen to your body. But I really feel like there's going to be a payoff if you give some of your time to the right projects, the right people. As long as you are, you know, taking the time to recharge once in a while and you're being nice to yourself. I really feel like there's something waiting for you after showing up consistently for a project at work or whatever you do in life. And it's going to pay off big time. There's this major abundance showing up. Again, this chance to be creative, to be seen, to be recognized. And so, yeah, September, I think, is going to be a big, big month for you. And I hope you come back to this reading and let me know <laughs> if this is your message. Take exquisite care of yourself, Leo, and I'll talk to you guys very soon. Happy birthday, by the way. Take care.